Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So um, we're getting close to the deadline here of getting cars ready to be shipped out to Hot Rod Power Tour. My wagon's all done, it's ready to go. Project X right here. We had some issues with the exhaust interfering with the tires. We could only run little cookie cutters that were sort of uh, like zero backspace. You couldn't get anything on the inside, which is great for drag racing, just going in a straight line, but not so great for actually trying to drive the car, which is what they're trying to do. Um, I'm under the impression that they're going to be showing up with some rims and tires. I My, my job was to uh, change the exhaust, the header system. Um, the deal was the headers used to fit, the motor was in a different spot. Um, now the headers would come out, they were hang really low right here in the wheel well area. I didn't go down, I think the collector was right about here. It looked neat, but you could only run the little cookie cutter skinny tires. So um, I cut the flange off, um, took U-bends, redirected basically, instead of rebuilding the entire header system, um, I uh, changed the ends basically, uh, made it so the exhaust came out and dipped up more, and then literally went down the firewall and put the, puts the collector, I think right about here, which will allow me to, if necessary, do a small head pipe off of that and put some exhaust under the door, even route it all the way to the back. Um, it should work out pretty good, but like I said, we're getting right down to the deadline right here. I, headers been on, fitted a few times. They're all welded up. They're ready to go. Have my buddy Wesley weld them because he is the weld master. I worked with him on overhauling for years. Uh, he works for Chip Foose and a bunch of other high-end shops, and he is quite the metal uh, fabricator. So, um, yeah, headers are off. I loaded them in the wagon. Um, I'm sort of multitasking right now. I'm using chasing parts or running these over to the sandblaster, running the exhaust over to the sandblaster, and then uh, um, dropping them off with the powder coater, ceramic coater, as a test drive for the wagon. So we're doing everything all at once. I turned off that light. I turned on this light. I'll turn off this light. I'll walk over to here. My keys are in the wagon. Oh yeah, more progress on the Mach 1. Um, front end's coming together. As we're putting it together, finding bent stuff. This car was smashed um, or abused in the front and things were just sort of cobbled back together. Not by me, but by somebody. So there are the headers. They look like a sculpture. But um, yeah, no, I think it's all good. I'm gonna leave the back exhaust down. Oh, we have a remote in the car. Cool. With the exhaust system on the on this wagon, thinking that you know I'm going to be driving this thing for a while, it started making a really weird, like a tinging, resonating sound. I was just like, what was that? And I remember that the exhaust I threw on this came off of a boosted car um, off the Chevelle, and uh, all the packing was blown out of it. So it was literally just a beer can with some perforated metal in it. So it was definitely not cool so I swapped them out and I put some turbo pipes on there yesterday and it doesn't resonate anymore it, it sounds nice so we're gonna find out exactly how nice right now hold on I am the pepper steering in case you didn't know whenever you see a vehicle with giant steering wheel like this one it is uh, most likely not power. Is that door going down? Also, that is the world's slowest garage.
garage door. I'm gonna change the ratio on that. I'll probably do a video on it. It has like a, looks like a Harley Davidson or motorcycle chain uh, that runs the motor to the door actual component. And I got a couple different size sprockets. So I'm just gonna change the gear ratio. Make it into a little bit of a short tracker. Man, you can't even hear this thing. I'm like creeping. so it didn't sound even it was just irritating to ride or to drive so this is much better anyway we should be over at the uh, powder coating or sandblasting shop here briefly we'll be right back okay so headers are off the sandblast and then to be ceramic coated um, there was some heat shield on here I don't know it was some other brand but it wasn't very thick and a lot of heat got through so I've moved the collector and everything to be over in this area which is right where it's supposed to be there's already some heat shield up inside there not a high heat area but still a good spot for it i did grab some of the dei heat shield i've used this on my car it's thick aluminum on the outside uh perforated or not perforated but corrugated and then it has a heat shield in between the two and an adhesive backing which makes it a joy to install This one will probably go in a little bit smoother because it is a little bit
perfect. All right, I think that's about it. Trim up some more pieces to block off a couple of other small spots. And then that is it for DEI in this car bike. Then the headers will be back. We're gonna put it on, make some noise, see you in a minute. Okay, headers are back. They're Cerakoted, went with silver. They look pretty good. Modifications were to be able to change the angle, bring them up higher, as you can see on both sides, and then tuck them back into the fender far enough that you can put any size tire you want on there. So that all worked out great. It is super loud, um, which is fine with me too. We were gonna try to get some collectors to put on here. They're three and a half inch. I then uh, dropped the exhaust down and back out, sort of outboard of the frame. But uh, yeah, it was a special order piece and this thing has got to go in the container tomorrow. So if you're going on hot rod power tour, you can expect this thing to wake you up no matter where you are. I'm perfectly fine with that. So anyway, we're gonna give this thing a bath, clean it up, gas it up, and then load it up. So pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, put some shine on it and get it down the road. Well, that's it, see you guys on Hot Rod Power Tour. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, share. Thanks, peace.